why so many people are in love but not together why is it that so many people love each other but still feel unloved it's because they fail to show their love in a way the other person would feel loved loving is not as simple as having the feelings for somebody we are then obliged to pass those feelings from our heart to our lovers it then becomes a responsibility to figure it out how they feel loved because no matter how much you love someone if it doesn't make them feel loved it means nothing to them your way of showing your love might be by giving them gifts but what if the other person feel loved by having a conversation with you why not so love is a language and you're meant to understand yours you're meant to decode this language pay attention to her needs her values her wants so that you can meet her needs and her values let's say if he is in the seek of a place where he can put his heart out and all you're doing is to make him listen to never to let him talk how come he'll feel understood how come he'll feel as if his needs are met or she if she is a kind of person who gets easily insecure and all you're doing is to make her feel more of that how come she'll feel safe and secured with you if he doesn't like to be treated as an option and you're treating him like one how come he'll feel as if he's the choice so all these things should never be mistaken as understood without you ever taking actions towards them let me elaborate this a little there are so many children in the world who feel unloved not because no one loves them because nobody shows them love that the way they want to they want someone to hear what they have to say but what they get is a person who is teaching them how to act they want someone to sit next to them while they watch their favorite show but what they get is a person who is happy seeing them busy you might say i love my children absolutely you do there is no doubt about it but if you're failing to express your love you're failing to show your love you're failing to make them feel loved as well loving someone has a lot to do with figuring it out how they feel loved and it is all different for everyone what might make me feel special and loved are not the same things that will make you feel special and loved if you love your parents but you don't show your love by sitting next to them by having a conversation with them by asking them how their day went then they soon they won't feel loved no matter how much you love them internally how much you value them and see value in your relationships but if you aren't willing to come out and practice what you feel there's no way the other person is going to feel what you want them to feel so many times we love people but we fail to show our love because we are busy assuming that they might be the mind readers and they can see how much i value them even if they are the mind readers even if they can see how much you value them it matters to them your little gestures matters to them when your sibling is feeling lonely and you understand it which is something that happens every day we understand everything but what if you go and accompany him what if you just cheer him up when you get something at the time when we need it the most what more could we ask for at that time if i need someone to lean on to and you're doing it for me what more could i ask for if at times you need someone to listen what's going inside your head and someone is doing that for you what more could you ask for at that time the same way if your partner is disturbed and he needs space and you're giving him space without him asking for it there's no way he'll not feel loved so try to figure it out how they feel loved it might be about understanding that it would change his state of mind if i direct this topic of conversation it might be about simply that she's too stressed out now so i'll talk about this issue later on the simple gestures you show out of love and care is what makes them feel loved when you understand things without them having to say it loving someone is a language the more you're willing to understand it the better you get at understanding it you'll be able to understand what they're trying to say before they say it you'll be able to understand what they need before even them knowing it it's different everyone is different everyone's needs everyone's values everyone's vacuums are different so don't try to reach out and expect someone to sort it out for you to make you understand everything about your partner about your parents about your kids it's something only you can do for yourself it's something only you have to do it on your own there are times when we love someone but we are unable to make them feel so 
because we are more focused on ourselves we are focused on what we feel about them how we how we want to express our love for them which is fine but somewhere down the road we need to care about what they need we need to care about how can i fill someone's hole how can i fill someone's vacuum our love isn't counted for what we feel for them our love is counted for what we make them feel Remember loving someone has a lot to do with figuring it out how they feel loved.